Let me explain. This is your boy, Fat Man. All right. Welcome to the Not Holding Back series. Now, I have to be very real with you all. The Not Holding Back series, that's basically what I've called it for this past couple of years, has me go in on a lot of things. In this series, I don't hold back, just in the title of the name, on anything I want to talk about. I don't care if it's religion. I don't care if it's sex. I don't care if it's money. I don't care if it's politics. I don't even do politics, but I can just, you know, break that down for myself. I don't care what it is. This series dissects it from stuff in comic books, video games, movies, and things relating to the real world. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not just a nerd. I also live in the fucking hood. I try to survive. I also have had jobs in the hood, jobs not in the hood. So the series focuses on a lot of different things. So excuse me if I leave something out that I don't talk about. And it's up to you, the viewer, to always leave a topic for me to dissect, talk about, and maybe just break it down from one man's point of view, and also bring up some other different point of views. This is my series, right? So, let's get into the rest of the video. Let this be known, I'm gonna explain myself. And if I have to explain myself of why I make more videos on why I'm fucking mad, you're gonna understand this from the get. The last video, watch here, Troy Baker comes out and says some shit that makes the obvious of sense. He's, he's being very obvious. He's not, you know what I'm saying? He's being very real about this. But as I say in my video, or I didn't say this, he's looking in, right? He's in the inside looking in, seeing what's happening so he can say whatever he wants on his end. And you know what? I respect that. I respect it. I respect it. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't, I can't knock a nigga for being in the inside already knowing all the details. Me on the outside, I've seen it on my phone. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. So, for Troy Baker to come out and say, listen, this game, this studio with all their accolades and awards, you think they can fail? You think six years of development can fail? And I said this in the video. Yes, it can. James Cameron, this is an example, a director who came out with the first Avatar. And the first Avatar movie came out, cert date here, that's when it came out, right? That blue skin alien shit made billions of dollars. It pushed that man higher than the sky can count. James Cameron is a beautiful director, awesome writer. His movie was almost like Fern Gully for aliens. Let's just be real with that. If James Cameron has not come out with Avatar 2. James Cameron's been talking about Avatar 2, 3, 4, shit, even a 5 for years. Years. And that motherfucker hasn't even made part 2 yet. I want to tell James Cameron to sit down and just work on it. He's like, script 1 for 2 is finished. Script 2 for 3 is finished. Script, he's talking about all these scripts that are done, but the movie has, there's no production. There's nothing. This movie ain't coming out forever. <laughs> What are you talking about, James Cameron? This movie's going to come out in 2045, and no one's going to care about it. The one thing about the first Avatar movie, you know, with the aliens and all of it, it was beautiful. It was stunning. It was, it's, for, for the time where CGI was told to be garbage, it took CGI to the next level. It was awesome. It was spectacular. And that is still today an awesome-ass movie. You know, it's the same old story, man versus nature, and then ends off with man versus man, and, you know, in the body of a creature. It, it, it's basically that style of storytelling, still from an A and B point of storytelling. It's beautiful, immaculate. If he doesn't come out with freaking Avatar too soon, people are going to not care. And when he comes out with it in 2022, 2021, 2023... And the movie doesn't make the money he wants, or it doesn't reach the set success that he was saying it's going to reach. Is he going to make another movie? No, he's probably going to move on. Or he's going to hit it off his trilogy with the third one and probably finish it, right? James Cameron can fail. No matter how big of a director James Cameron is, can he fail? Yeah, failure is in the cards. Because time, it's We've been waiting for Avatar 2 longer than niggas been waiting for Kingdom Hearts 3. 
And we all know what happened with Kingdom Hearts 3. It did abysmal. People didn't like it. People, people didn't fuck with part 3. People loved it. But people saw its flaws and said, I'm done with this. And you know what? I had to agree with a lot of people. I have, I have Kingdom Hearts 3 in my room and I haven't played it. Still on Darksiders 3, like I said, you guys. I'm, just, I'm sorry. It's so many games. But when you, a voice actor, comes out and speaks for a studio saying they have all these accolades, obvious. They have all these awards, obvious. They've been in production for six years. James Cameron... <laughs> has been in production for longer than six years. I swear, I feel like he has. And you're telling me he could come out with this Avatar 2 and not fail? Wrong. He can fail. You can... Failure is in the cards. Failure is out there. No matter how skilled of a director you are, if the movie doesn't make the same success as your first one, you're fucked. If your game doesn't make the same success as your first one, you're kind of like, well, that was a waste of six years of development. Six years of development can be ruined. Not by screenshots, but what you've done here. There's a reason why I've been mad. And I'm going to break it down to you. Leaving Troy Baker behind and saying what he said was all the obvious stuff, none of, none of it has weight, none of it holds ground, and some of it just can be dust in the wind. You know what I'm saying? Come on, Troy. Come on. What are, you what are you doing here? What are you doing? This is why I've been pissed. Naughty Dog, or my bad, Muso TNT copyrighted my shit. But they didn't copyright the first video, which stands at right now at 815 views? Are you serious? My first video stands at 815 views. The second video where I just throw a small clip in there gets blocked. I can use that clip. It was out there in the public domain. Any pictures or any clips that are out there are usable for the public domain. It's the internet. Me as a YouTuber, I obviously, yes, freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom of fair use on the YouTube platform. I can talk about and show these things if I want to. You being a studio, I know why you're mad. You got your shit leaked. You got your shit leaked. I know why you're mad. You fucking calling it a hack. If there was a disgruntled employee that did leak this and a disgruntled employee that was like, yeah, fuck out of here, I need my money, it's a pandemic, suck my nuts, I believe that. If a hacker got through and fucked with y'all and took, I don't know, it said a hacker got through an old game to get to the new game. Cool. I respect that. But let's be real here, I don't have time for the bullshit. <laughs> I don't. I'm gonna leave it the way it is. Y'all could not take the heat. You couldn't. So, you and Sony said, hey, go out there flagging people. There are people out there that have talked about The Last of Us 2. Muso TNT sent me this lovely, lovely piece of shit right here. Telling me to take down my video. I'm not doing it. It's principle of the matter. I'm not taking down my video. I know I've got two strikes, but I'm not taking down my video. I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Naughty Dog could have copywritten me for... The story trailer that I talked about. And as I said in the story trailer, there's nothing here. There's nothing new here except for there's more of Joel talking. There's more destruction. Ellie's a badass. I get it. I get it. I've always known Ellie was a badass. Oh. <laughs> like, what are you doing here? Like, there's nothing new here. What I'm mad about is Naughty Dog could not take this bad publicity and flip it. If anyone out there knows about news, good news, any type of news, take the news and flip it into good news. The part of a studio, gaming studio, movie studio, even music studio, you take all that bad press and you flip it. Snitch Nan is one of those people who've taken all this bad news that he has developed over the year and he's flipped it for him to be the victim. That's exactly, <laughs> there you go. He's taken all this bad publicity, all of the shit that's true, and he's flipped it to become the victim. Isn't that smart? Why am I bringing up Snitch Nan? Because Snitch Nan has done something that no one the person has done. Flipping the script? No. Everyone's flipped the script. Everyone is a victim. But you have to have a victim mentality to feel that you're the victim. As a gaming studio, you have been victimized. Our, our leaks. Our game was leaked. It was? We could flip that. Flipping it is what you're supposed to do. You don't go blocking people, you don't flagging people's channels. You go blocking the content. 
Yeah, we block this in all countries. Cool. Peace out. That's exactly what you do. You block it in all countries. Block. You don't go flag in a nigga's channel. I don't fuck with this Muso TNT. I don't. And the moment that anyone like Mr. H Reviews talks about it, I'm kind of paranoid on that. Mr. H Reviews broke it down. He found that this is just a shell company in um in the UK. And they have no base of operations. So it's kind of scary that this whole thing can flag someone like me. Just saying. I'm small as hell. Thanks to you, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. So keep on subscribing. Thank you. I'm looking at it from one point of view. You didn't take the bad news and flip it. I'm pissed about that. I'm pissed about you flagging my channel. But I'm ashamed of you not taking all of this news and flipping it into good news. I'm mad that none of y'all came out and said, hey, everybody, yes, some of these leaks have gotten y'all scared. Some of these leaks have made everyone feel a type of way. But let us ensure you the game is going to be better than what you've seen. Okay. The game and those leaks, some are true, some are not. And we're going to say this here is not true. All of it is not true because it's from the last production that we did and we had to pull the game back. I would have been lit. I would have been lit if they said, hey, that's from our last production. We didn't even, you know, we had to push the game back. That's why that footage is out on the internet. Someone hacked us and when they put it out there, that's not what's happening now. Like, that's not in the game. If they would have said that, I would have given you a chat. I would have given you, like, little mini clap. But I would not be going so hard the way I am if you didn't flag my channel. Because I love my channel, I do. I'm trying to reach that thousand subscriber mark, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to reach that. I'm trying to reach higher now. You, as a company, could have flipped this script in your favor. You are flipping it kind of, you're kind of leaning it to the left. Troy Baker was supposed to help you guys flip it on top of its head. Yeah, at the same time, video games have many experiences. And I'm going to bring up Fallen Order. If Fallen Order did not do the way it did, if it didn't make the sales that people said it was going to make, that EA wanted, they would have never tried making a sequel to the game or an, uh, even thinking about making this type of Star Wars game. It's the best Star Wars game. The Force, Un the Force Unleashed series was awesome. For like PlayStation, and you know, PlayStation 3, it was a good series. They, they, they didn't make a remaster of that series, but it was awesome. It had a clone. He kicked some ass. It was lit. And that was like the last Star Wars game that niggas played. That was that, you know, that was that was good. I have to say this for myself. Maybe for you too. Fallen Order did spectacular. Do I want a sequel to that game? Yeah. Do I want them to find more Padawan with lit ass abilities and kick some ass? Yeah. They did good with that game. Like I brought up before. Last of Us 2, it can do whatever amount of numbers. Just like with James Cameron, I bring that up as if he comes out with Avatar 2 next year and it doesn't make sales, it gets thrown on, like, I don't know, HBO Max, it's not going to make the sales that he's looking for, especially top-tier movies. Like, come the fuck on, bro. Come the fuck on. Come on. It's not doing what you wanted. So... Is he gonna work on his next movies? He's probably you know, it's gonna if it if it makes money, it makes money. But if it doesn't make the sales you were looking for, you're just like, well, I've been in production for years. So what do I do now? You know? They've been in production for six years. Cool. I've had a relationship for six years and that's over. So guess what can happen to them? <laughs> it can end. I understand what Troy Baker is saying. For me, I'm just mad that Naughty Dog struck my channel. But I understand. You guys were pissed. Your shit got leaked. I hear you. Don't go around striking YouTubers. Go around blocking their shit. Niggas will be like, ah, it's blocked. Mm, let me see what I can do to switch this out. That's it. That's it. That's it. Once you block it, I'll re-upload it. If it doesn't get blocked, cool. Then you may try to flag a nigga. You know what? Fine. But don't take it. But don't think I'm going to let it pass. Don't think I'm going to let it slide. What Troy Baker said was nothing compared to what I'm saying right now. Take the bad news and flip it. You didn't do that. You didn't take anything. You didn't flip it on top of its head. And you didn't prove nobody wrong. The game's, not com the game's coming out. 
And the release date was pushed up. You know why it was pushed up? Because Naughty Dog must have forgot YouTubers move weight. We push and wait. We push in content. We are telling people how bad this shit looks. And that is the weight that YouTubers move. Mr. H reviews, the quartering, freaking Macarandom 42, uh, Jeremy Geeks and Gamers, just some guy. I, the list can go on. Dudes is moving weight, moving views, subscribers, telling people, and reaching people every day. No matter what you put in the comment section, I'm responding to it. You want to know why? I can talk all day. You can't. Let's be real here. Am I moving the same weight as all the YouTubers I mentioned? No. I'm moving my weight. Every, they know. As a freelance journalism, freelance everything, YouTuber, I'm moving weight. YouTubers can destroy your game or they can lift it up. Just like Crunchyroll. You know how many anime YouTubers out there have been talking about subscribe to Crunchyroll, build up their numbers? Netflix was doing the same thing back then, right? Netflix was telling people, hey, uh, tell them about Netflix, tell them to sign up for us, tell them, giving people money. Whatever YouTuber back then was getting that Netflix money, you were lit. You were the first one out there promoting Netflix. You are lit. There's YouTubers out there still promoting Crunchyroll. You're not big. You're, you're not Netflix level that people don't have to promote you anymore. What's going on? You see what I'm saying? There's levels to this. YouTubers... If PewDiePie sees these leaks, he's like, this game is terrible. PewDiePie can move mountains with the shit he says. Markiplier could be like, this game is terrible. Can move, they can move mountains with what they say, bro. Jack Skeptikai can be like, nah, I seen the leaks. I don't want to play that game. It's probably trash. And how many views do these guys get? Mil. They could destroy Naughty Dog like that. But do they know? Now let me look on the brighter side here, right? I'm going to talk to you. You want to buy this game? Go right the fuck ahead. But don't try to convince me I have to play it. Because I don't. Troy Baker tried that. And I thought that was stupid. It's a game. You have to experience it. Yeah, I've experienced a lot of video games growing up. They are Some were terrible. Some were good. Shit, I like Mega Man X Command Mission X for the GameCube. Also was on PlayStation 2. I love that game. Why do I love that game? It's Mega Man. It's a different format that Mega Man's been in. I haven't played that. And it's on the GameCube. Like, come on, bro. And they never made a part two. Yeah. But I love that game. I, it's, it's part of my childhood. I cherish the shit out of that. Just like I cherish Mega Man X3. I have that for the Super Nintendo. I love it. I cherish it forever. I wish I had the old box it came in. But still, we cherish certain games. I take The Last of Us 1 and I cherish that. Because it's the best. Hands down, it's the best, boy. You can't tell me anything I'm saying is wrong. You probably can. You can be like, oh, bro, you made some good points, but I'm going to be real with you. You should still play the game. All right. Somebody came in my last video very upset with me. Like, they were like, yo, I've been a fan of you. I've respected you. Listen, bro, I understand that. But you got to know my series, who I am. If I get pissed at something, I got to go at it. If, you be if you've been here... If anyone is watching me who's been subscribed to me, if you've been here for the longest, you know I don't play games. I go in. Or shit I don't fucking fucking like. <laughs> I don't care for it. Naughty Dog came at my shit, and I have to come at your jugular. If I'm moving a knife closer to your neck, I'm sorry. This is You deserve this. <laughs> you deserve this. Troy Baker coming out saying something, I didn't like it. Because you didn't make any points. You stated the obvious that's there, but I give you that. And I respect what you're saying. But... Not putting failure in front of you. And that is understandable. But in reality, just like James Cameron could fail, so can Naughty Dog. And I want that to be known. Naughty Dog could fail. I want you to save your $65, your $200. I want you to understand, if they fail, it's on your neck. And that's just how the game rolls. I'm letting you know now. Failure is in the cards. But not for them. The game could sell. The game could make money. You could enjoy the game. That's understandable. I clap it up for you. But don't come on my fucking channel talking about, oh, but why are you being disrespectful to Troy Baker? Why did Listen, I just didn't like what he was saying because he made no sense. <laughs> he stated the obvious, and it's simple as that. The game could do well. I mean well enough to be like, all right, it warrants a sequel or it warrants not a sequel. The game could do well or the game could bomb. It's not Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing <gasps> made money. Bam! What the fuck? Like, what the fuck?
You can't tell me nothing right now. Animal Crossing, bam. That's all I'm saying for now. Naughty Dog, you didn't flip the script. You didn't use any of this publicity in your favor, and you fucked up. Troy Baker coming out saying anything about this, I just don't care about it. I may have talked about it, but there's a reason I did that. There's a reason, because I really, really wanted to go in. People don't like what I said. People have a problem with it. Cool. You can, you can argue with me in the comments all day. I'm going to let you know. I have the full-on meat and potatoes on my phone. This game could have more meat and potatoes. You know what I'm saying? I wanted Joel to die as a warrior, fighting and, and bleeding and, and destroying everything in his wake like the monster he is. And we're going to have to see him get hit in the head with a golf club. Fighting Abby, who I believe Joel has more skill than Abby. He's been doing it forever, and Abby comes out of nowhere better than him, stronger than him. She's toned, but she's not stronger than me. Like, physiology makes sense. Men are stronger than women. Like, the fuck are you doing out here? But this is their game. Let them switch the narrative. Let them change what they want, right? I hate it when Drake was getting beat by some chick in the Uncharted 4 because I'm like, eh, Nadine, she, ain't, she doesn't have more skill than Drake. She didn't just kick me out of a window. It doesn't make any sense. You know what I'm saying? They didn't make sense with the fucking Uncharted 4. But this is this is, this is is what I have to say. So I'm your boy Fat Man DD1. If you didn't like anything I said here, if you say, yo, Fat Man, you're fucked up, everything you're saying doesn't have any merit, bro, that's trash. Okay. But still, if you watch all the way to the end, if you understand where I'm coming from, you understand why I'm mad, you understand what my points were, I respect you for at least hearing me out. If you did not watch the video all the way through, Put a one in the description because I know you didn't. <laughs> I know you just like in the comments. Just if you didn't watch this all the way through, I respect you. I do. But you a dickhead if you didn't watch this through. So I'm just going to let it be known. So I'm your boy Fat Man Dude. Remember to like and to subscribe. Remember to hit the bell icon to be notified for more videos. I fuck with you. And yo, that's just how it is, right? I'm, I'm done talking about this. But I'm going to be still hitting this game right in the head and building up my views. You know what I'm saying? This is a good view time. So... Remember to never give up, never surrender, and keep on grinding and mad love. And in this time, we're all in it together. Make sure to wash your hands. Stay away from grandma and grandpa. Love who you got. Hit up your family members from afar. Hit up people that are closer to you. Enjoy yourselves. And if you want to have a barbecue in your backyard, do that. Or your front yard. Just to enjoy yourselves. Get some sun. Get out there. From me to you, peace. And I'm out. I'm about to end this dog. Shit. Yeah, been on drum. Yeah, been on drum. You real niggas gonna stop acting like my shit ain't the grill. Some of you niggas get your front teeth for grills. And I ain't talking about the contract. We ain't loving these fake hoes. Room smelling like eight switches. Room service like 2K. NBA, I'm ballin' nigga, all them niggas Fallin' like all them niggas Talkin' shit, I saw them niggas Now they daughter want a picture, rough ain't it? Fuck famous, yeah, niggas too real, yeah, got the most haters Wrote a story, so Stephen Curry How we feel to be golden